guys how are you today i'll be filming my march empties and i actually did film this last week but then i realized my fake lash was like hanging halfway off my eye and i did not want to post that so i'm filming it again and these are the products that i used up in the month of march i don't have a ton this month hopefully next month i'll have more i do have a bunch of fun makeup empties though so that's pretty exciting for this video but as for other empties i don't have a ton so this will probably be a shorter video but anyway let's get into it as always, I'm going to start off with my makeup empties, and you guys have already seen this in my Pan That Palette finale, but this is my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eyeshadow palette. This was my Pan That Palette for end of 2018 into 2019, and I recently started a new Pan That Palette, so I will link both of them up in the cards at some point throughout this video, but I did complete this palette. This is a half neutral, half colorful eyeshadow palette. It was mostly shimmers, and it did have a highlighter and one matte shade in it. I really did enjoy this palette. I'll insert a picture of what this looked like with the product full in the palette. So this was a really nice palette. My favorite shade was Marvel, which was a metallic, kind of like lime green shade. And I wish Tarte would come out with more palettes like this that had more colorful shades, especially metallics, because these were beautiful. I wouldn't pick up this palette again just because I want to try out other palettes. So I liked this palette, but I would not repurchase it. And this was limited edition anyway, so I don't even think you can get this anymore. And then another Tarte palette I was painting was this Tarte Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette. And this had a blush, bronzer, and highlighter in it. And this one is also completed. And I really liked this. The bronzer was pretty much my skin tone. Sometimes it did look a little bit deep on me. The blush was a little bit deep, but I also made a Franken blush with it a lot. And it looked really pretty mixed with other colors. The highlighter was my favorite part about this palette. It just looked beautiful on the skin. It was a champagne -y highlighter. It was a nice product, and it was, I think, $19. So I think it is pretty worth it. I would pick this up again if they had a variety of shades. This, like little three pan blush bronzer and highlighter palette. They only have these shades right now. So I wouldn't pick it up again. I'm enjoying trying new products and using my collection. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but I do think it's a good deal and it was a nice product. And then another eyeshadow that I used up was the single eyeshadow from Essence. This is from their My Must Haves line. And this was their eyeshadow in Chili Vanilli. And here's just what the empty pan looks like. And this was just a matte cream shade. It was perfect for setting my eyelids when I had eye primer on and then also for using as a brow highlight. I would pick this up again. I'm currently trying to go through another matte cream shade that I have in a palette. But once I finish that, I will repurchase this again. These are two products from my Thank You Next Project pan. And I recently posted that finale, so I'll link that up in the cards. The first one I have here is the Hemp's Lip Balm and... This was their Ultra Moisturizing Lip Balm, and there is a little bit still left in here, but I don't feel like cutting it open and trying to like maneuver its way out. It can't squeeze any more out that I could get out of it, so I'm calling it quits. It was a fine lip balm. It was kind of greasy, and honestly, I didn't love the scent too much. It was like a lemon scent, but it was a little bit herbally, and I just didn't love it, so I definitely would not repurchase this. This is actually one I would consider repurchasing, and this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in a Maze. And it's all done, but this was a beautiful coppery glitter shade, and it was beautiful. And the ColourPop Super Shock shadows are like somewhat of a cream shadow and a powder formula. They're kind of like a mix of both. This was really pigmented, it was glittery, and it was really pretty. These are only like six or maybe five bucks, so I would pick this up again once I finish other eyeshadows. I really want to try out more of the Super Shock formula. I have a couple random products, and this first one is an eyebrow razor. I forget what brand this is from, but I like to use these eyebrow razors to clean out my eyebrows, especially if I can't like get one of the hairs with my tweezers, I will just razor them off. I would recommend plucking over using a razor because they grow back faster with the razor as opposed to plucking it. And honestly, I didn't really like these ones that much. I need to find an eyebrow razor that I actually like, but these were like the only ones that they had in store at the time. And I think I'm almost done with the other one that I have right now, but this one's going into the trash. And then I finished a little hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. This is the Mary Cookie scent. This just smelled like vanilla. It was fine. Bath & Body Works has a ton of different scents for hand sanitizers, so I'm not too picky with which ones I will, like, use, but there's certain scents that I will continue to repurchase, and this one is just not one of them. I have one hair care item, and this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and this is the Clean & Classic Original. I got this from Marshalls for $8.99, and this is the Jumbo Bottle, so this is huge. I have the Coconut one currently going on right now, but Batiste is literally the only dry shampoo that works for my hair. I've tried other ones, but this one is the one I go back to because 
it just works in my hair so well. A lot of dry shampoos feel like really crispy in my hair and they don't soak in and I feel like it just makes my hair feel even worse than it did before. So Matisse is my go-to and I love it. I used up another one of the Found Beauty Firming Kudzu Night Creams and I think this is my second one and I'm currently on my third. So that is all done. And this has become my favorite moisturizer right now. It doesn't have a scent that I love. It is kind of like a weird scent. I'm getting used to it now, but it does smell kind of herbally, but I really like this. It makes my skin feel so smooth and soft and supple, and I think this is like $11, and I do go through about one a month. I was struggling to find a moisturizer for a while, and I'm happy to find one from a cruelty-free brand that is a little bit more natural. And lastly, I have my body products. I told you guys this would be a shorter empties video, but this is the Bath & Body Works Frosted Coconut snowball shower gel and the notes in here are frosted coconut north pole vanilla winter freesia snow kissed woods and spun sugar this just smelled like coconut to me i didn't really think it was very wintry or holiday-esque at all it smelled really good i'm currently working on the lotion and i would pick up the scent again i just don't necessarily think it's like a christmas scent and i finished up two lotions this month i'm so sad about this this is the early harvest raspberry body butter from the body shop and this is my favorite body butter that they have and i think they did discontinued this scent so this is all done it just smells like such a nice raspberry scent and it even has like a little bit of a sour note to it but I love it and these body shop body butters are so hydrating I would highly recommend them this one I got from TJ Maxx for seven dollars so I would recommend checking out TJ Maxx or Marshalls before you go to like the actual body shop store because you'll most likely be able to find these for pretty cheap and the final empty for this March empties video is the Bath Body Works Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte Body Cream this smells delicious it just smells like a spicy vanilla pumpkin scent and the notes in here are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And their body creams I do cut open and try to get everything out. And I tried to get as much as I could out of here but my hand just couldn't reach down, especially to like this one. I love this. Their body creams are really hydrating and they have a nice variety of scents. And this is definitely one of my favorite scents that they have but this is only during the fall time. So that was my March empties. I'm sorry I'm getting this up a little bit late. I think I'll have this up maybe like the 6th or 7th, crossing my fingers. It's not super late. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you used up this month down below, especially if it's makeup related, because I would love to know that. Also, if you want to check out my horse channel, it is CNK Equestrian, where I post horse videos and riding videos. And it's been really fun to do both channels. And I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.